So this is the Toby Dyna Fox with Snap Core. And if you go into the settings and the user and the access method, you can set it to eye gaze. You can set your dwell time. You can tell what kind of feedback you want it to be. It can be a shrinking dot or a clock or in the color you want that to be. You can show your track status. There's my eyes and I want to be far enough away that my eyes are, the arrow is in the green. If I'm too close, the arrow goes up. And if I'm too far away, the, the eyes go away and the arrow, this is the right distance. And you can see both of my eyes. So you can open up eye gaze settings and manage how you want it to track one eye, both eyes. You can customize your calibration by selecting if you want a one, two, five, or nine point calibration. You can also browse and find a picture that they might want to be looking at, and they even have shapes and high contrast for those with cortical visual impairment. The stimulus speed and the stimulus size can be adjusted at this point as well. I'm just going to do a two point for this video. So I'm going to cal look at my eyes and the distance, and then I'm going to hit calibrate and say yes. And I'm going to look straight at it and follow it. And then it lets me know I'm in, I've got great green eye gaze um, calibration and I close that down and now I can close out of this and I can pause or play the eye gaze feature so if I'm editing I want to pause this and if I'm ready to use it then I that then it's set here she liked so that's how that works. If you want to change the dwell time, you're going to go into the user again, the access method, and the dwell time is here. The dwell time needs to be set short enough that they can be still for the clock to go all the way around, but long enough to look at the language and process, do I want this or not, and move off before it makes it speak. So that is the general setup for the Toby Dynavox eye gaze access method.